hey guys welcome to civil engineers adda so today we are going to solve a problem on highway drainage which is related to design of side drains okay so let me read out the question the maximum quantity of water expected in one of the open longitudinal drains on clay soil is so the discharge has been given point 9 meter cube per second design the cross section and longitudinal slope so we have to design cross sectional and longitudinal slope of trapezoidal drain this is a trapezoidal drain assuming the bottom of bottom width of trapezoidal section to be 1 meter and cross slope to be 1 vertical to 1.5 horizontal the allowable velocity of flow in the drain is 1.2 meters per second allowable velocity of flow is 1.2 meters per second and uh, this is the roughness coefficient it is given as 0.02 okay so let's start this uh, question let me write the given data first so solution let me write the given data so given data so the discharge q has been given which is 0.90 meter cube per second and the width of the section trapezoidal section has been given so that is 1.0 meters and the slope the side slope okay so the side slope 1 in z is given as 1 in 1.5 which means z value here is 1.5 okay uh, next one is the allowable speed va is given as 1.2 meters per second and lastly the roughness coefficient is given as 0.02 okay i hope uh, the data is clear so before solving this we have to draw a trapezoidal section so i am just drawing a trapezoidal section here so this is a trapezoidal section let us take the depth of water in the section as y let us take it as a y and the side slope let's take the side slope as 1 in z side slope as 1 in z so b is the width bottom width of the trapezoidal channel bottom width of the trapezoidal channel so i hope every the uh, trapezoidal channel is clear with all the nomenclatures so what are the prerequisites okay what are the prerequisites okay what are the prerequisites for this uh, question is you have to know the area formula of trapezoidal section you have to know the properties you have to know the properties of trapezoidal section so let's see what all properties you need to know the area of the trapezoidal section area of the trapezoidal section is given by the formula b plus zy into y so this is the one thing you have to know area is b plus zy into y which is nothing but the area of the section carrying the water okay so the area of this section which is carrying the water entire section here which is carrying the water fine so let's go uh, next one is what thing you have to know one more is the perimeter formula okay the formula of the perimeter which is b plus 2y into square root of 1 plus z square okay this both things are necessary for solving this example and one one more important thing is hydraulic radius so hydraulic radi uh, radius here hydraulic radius so which is 
nothing but capital R which is A area divided by wetted perimeter it is nothing but area divided by the wetted perimeter okay wetted perimeter fine so let let's do that so one more that that r is nothing but b plus z y into y divided by the same thing here what whatever a and p values are there i'm substituting it here into 2y into square root of 1 plus z square so this is this is the expression so i hope all the data is clear and the prerequisites are also clear so now let's start the actual solution so first thing so first step step one or the first design so it is it is nothing but design of cross section cross section in the sense what else what we can find here design of the cross section in the sense we have to find the depth okay we have to find the depth of flow so let's come back to the design part here so we already know what is given to us discharge is a into v area into velocity huh? the discharge continuity equation this is a continuity equation so which you have learnt in fluid mechanics open channel flow okay q is equal to a into v so the q value is given to us which is 0.9 and v allowable speed is also given that is 1.2 meters per second so let's start what is the area is nothing but q by v so what is q here 0 0.90 given in the question divided by 1.20 which gives me 0.75 i okay which gives the value of 0 0.75 meter square so the area of cross section is 0 0.75 meter square so let's keep it as it is okay so next we will proceed so but one more thing we know already we have got the area here the number we have got but area of trapezoidal uh, trapezoidal section area of water flow is what we have defined already b plus z y into y so already we have defined the value for trapezoidal section the area formula is b plus z y into y so now let's substitute back so we know area now which is 0.75 we know the breadth which is 1.0 and we know the z value here z value is 1.5 so it is 1.5 into y into entire divided entire multiplied by y okay so just carefully let me uh, solve this so multiply this y inside so this is y plus 1.5 the whole square so next finally 1.5 the whole square plus y minus 0 0.75 is equal to 0 so now let's solve solve this equation solve the equation solve the equation uh, by scientific calculator by using the scientific calculator i am just using scientific calculator here so when you start solving that in the scientific calculator so you get the two values of y so first value of y you will get as 0 0.448 which i can take it very near round off to 0 0.45 so y is 0 0.45 meters okay so one more value you will get that you have to neglect because it is a negative value minus 1.115 meters you have to neglect as depth cannot be negative okay so we have found the value of y so this is one 
thing the design of cross section the depth has been decided the depth is 0 0.7 0 0.45 so the trapezoidal section is there here so the depth here is decided which is 0 0.75 meters this is one part of design step one in design has been completed so next let me go to the step two okay step two we have to design the slope design design of slope okay slope design of slope so let's see in the question they have asked us to find uh, what longitudinal slope of the trapezoidal zone uh, design of slope for drain for longitudinal drain okay now let's start so uh, we know what we know we know manning's formula we know so what is this according okay so according to manning's formula according to manning's formula why we are using manning's formula you can ask me so we are using manning's formula because that manning's formula contains the slope equation the slope term in it and we have roughness which is given to us so the velocity the velocity here the allowable velocity is 1 by nita that is roughness into r raised to 2 by 3 which is r is nothing but the hydraulic uh, radius and s raised to 1 by 2 so the main thing highlighted portion is yes we have to get the value yes here okay yes is only the question mark so let's substitute all the values one by one before that we have to calculate r value we don't have r value so r is nothing but a by p okay r is nothing but a by p so we know a already we know a so a is already 0 0.75 but we have to calculate the p value so p is nothing but let's substitute the value of p by looking into the formula so this is the formula okay this is the formula let's substitute that value so p is nothing but what is that p it is nothing but b plus 2y into square root of 1 plus z square so let's see this again 0 0.75 divided by 1 plus 2 into y y is 0 0.45 now into z square is 1 plus 1.5 the whole square so this is the entire value so when you solve this you get the value of r as 0 0.7 i am sorry so you don't get this 0 0.7 you get the value of r as 0 0.286 meters okay you the r the r value is 0 0.286 meters okay now let's substitute all the values in the manning's formula okay in the manning's formula so let's start so va is equal to so we know va so let's substitute that value let me take it down here so let's substitute value um, 1.2 meters is equal to 1 divided by roughness is given as 0 0.02 here okay 0 0.02 so let me go back here again it is 0 0.02 into the value of r here 0 0.286 raised to 2 by 3 into s raised to 1 by 2 so carefully you have to arrange all the terms so just cross multiply and get make the s independent divided by 0 0.286 raised to 2 by 3 so this is s raised to 1 by 2 so whenever 
1 by 2 there is a square square root 1 by 2 is nothing but square root when it goes here it will become square so just calculate this part very carefully you have to calculate so you will get the yes value very near to 3.0568 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so don't get panic with the answer you have got so what you have to do is take reciprocal of this value that is 1 1 divided by 0 0.3568 into 10 to the power minus 3 and now you will get the value has 327.15 so let's round it off round it up uh, up to 328 <clears throat> okay therefore the slope the slope slope is usually given in one in slope always mentioned in one in 328 so this is the final answer okay so this is this is the reason only we have made it as one upon so finally the slope is one in 328 so i hope you have uh, understood the design steps i have explained it very clearly uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you please share it to your friends let me meet in my next video with another concept till then take care thank you